Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chris and this is the post-Hurricane Milton show. We did survive the hurricane here in Florida. Um, very, very lucky. A lot of people um, in my area got a lot of damage, some flooding, but we were real fortunate. We didn't have anything. We lost power for two days. Um, we lost some food in our refrigerator and um, we got, we lost internet for four days. Five days. We lost internet for five days. Um, but other than that, we fared really well. No damage to the house, no damage to the to anything, any of the property, and more importantly, no damage to the comic book collection. So that's great. I'm going to show you some of the books that I've picked up over the last couple of weeks. Let's start it off with a freebie that was given to me with a, uh, a purchase that I made. Um, it's Walking Dead, issue number 61. This is the first appearance of Father Gabriel. This isn't a really great copy. This is probably a, like an 8.5 maybe, but a good reader copy. I haven't even bagged and boarded it yet. This came with uh, one of my other purchases. Um, next up, Walking Dead Deluxe number 97. As, as you all know, I really like to uh, start my comic book pickups with The Walking Dead. This is the David Finch variant for issue number 97 getting close to that big issue 100 with like 15 variants coming up is that one's a big one that one's really a big one this is also uh issue number 97 i don't know the artist on this one but i like it have to look that one up sorry about that <laughs> and this is the charlie adlard cover um the something to fear cover part one which leads up to the big Negan reveal in issue number 100. Very cool. Next up, Walking Dead Deluxe number 98. We head right into the uh, Something to Fear part two. Very neat. A lot of comic shops in the area due to Hurricane Milton didn't get their shipments this week, so um, probably won't get some books until next week. But that's okay. I saved these. Um, this is the Finch variant for Walking Dead Deluxe number nine. I believe I think it's the Finch variant. Yeah, it's definitely the Finch variant. Interesting one of Dwight there. Dwight looks like a raving lunatic. But <laughs> there you go. And uh, I think this is Art Adams. Certainly looks like Art Adams. Um, Trying to see if it's signed anywhere. <clears throat> Can't see it, but it certainly looks like them. Walking to Deluxe number 98. Then I picked up this guy. It is X Factor number five. It's the first cameo appearance of Apocalypse. It's in a newsstand. Um, it's it's not perfect. I, I can do a little bit of cleaning here on the spine. And it really, really needs a nice press. But overall... With a clean and a press, a really good press, I think this is a 9.8 candidate. I think it's got beautiful white pages. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous book. Um, and uh, got it for less than the $15 cover price that's on the front. Um, next up, Rocketeer. Rocketeer Breaks 3. This is issue number three. This is the cover A. I'm really digging these covers. These covers are really, really nice. And here is the cover B, overlooking Alcatraz. Always good to go check out Alcatraz. If you're in San Francisco, go check it out. It's really cool. Next up, I picked up Batman number 153. No, I do not have a copy of Absolute Batman. Just don't think it's going to pan out, honestly. And, you know, I'm not a... I'm not a huge speculator, so don't take my word for it. But um, I just think it's kind of one of those flash in the pan books that everybody wants. Don't 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 fall for the FOMO. Um, pretty cool idea though, um, and it's it's kind of neat that we're getting a different style of Batman. Um, but uh, I just didn't buy into it for sure. Um, next up is I missed the A cover on this because I was a week late. Um, but uh, it's Frankenstein. 
issue number two. This is the one in 10 variant. You get a chance to read issue number one of this series. Go and do it. It's spectacular. I loved every second of it. Really, really good. Cannot wait to read this one. I hope it's as good as the first one. Then I picked up, uh, to finish it off, um, we have Nice House by the Sea, issue number three. And I was a big fan of Nice House on the Lake and uh, really enjoying this follow-up series, which uh, is really quite fun. It's the variant cover. Bunch of books this week. Bunch of raw books this week. Picking up uh, some bunch of books at my local comic shop. And uh, hope you guys are doing well. Staying safe. And hope you guys are picking up some goodies for your collection, too. Talk to you again soon. Bye.